I lose everything. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> but Becky, I don't want you seeing Stone Anders ever again. I told you after last season's gang rape that I'm tired of playing the victim. Becky is strong. She doesn't put up with crap anymore. I can't remember, but I do know that they all had their own hair. <sighs> I'm so glad they're breaking us up. Not as glad as I am. Every time I kiss you, I think I deserve an Emmy. Plus, my whole character. I mean, I thought Laura was going to be a role model, but she's kind of a bitch. And it's also cliche. I mean, no one is this manipulative in real life. You're my standing doesn't mean you can live in my house. Dude, you have no sense of your roots. Whose car did you borrow to get your sorry ass to your audition for Gross Point, huh? <laughs> Dude, who cares whose mangy car I drove to some audition? <sighs> Dude, what does she see in that guy? I hear his family are big muckety mucks in the sports trophy business. <sighs> Why does she always have to thrust her boobs like that whenever she feels an emotion? Now look at her lips this week. They're enormous. I read in an interview that she doesn't use collagen. <laughs> yeah, and that's her original chin. Over yourself. This isn't about you. This is about him. Look, you've got to show him a good time. No way, Jose. Listen, Johnny. That little boy obviously has a huge crush on you, and I will not stand by and let you hurt him.